this one has been overshadowed in time. And during the Depression era, it was set through the, the National, through the Congress, to become a major battlefield site and location. And uh, hard times in the Depression, it did not materialize. The Battle of Utah Springs in Orangeburg County is coming to life in a mini documentary. Because of this battle, uh, Cornwallis ended up having to pack up and move up through North Carolina on up to Virginia. And you know, everybody knows the rest of the story, but do they know this story? That's what we want to get. We want to get the news out. The history behind the battle, according to markers at the battlefield, on September 8, 1781, General Nathaniel Green's American Army and Colonel Alexander Stewart's British Army slugged it out in the last major revolutionary war in South Carolina. More than 1,200 soldiers in total were killed. It led to the British forces retreating to Charleston. The last major battle in the southern colonies was fought right here. Uh, it was a strategic win for the Patriots, even though militarily it was a draw. The documentary will be shown on PBS's Beyond Your Backyard. The managing editor for the show tells News 19, this is one of the first episodes to be shot after COVID. The Battle of Utah Springs is expected to air later this year. This battle just, just it kind of stands, for, stands on its own as, as far as one of the important battles of the American Revolution. And it kind of got uh, swept under the under the table, the importance of it, because the the surrender came so so much, just a few, uh, like I said, less than three months later, and so uh, everybody focused on Yorktown and uh, and the surrender there. In Utah Springs, I'm Devin Johnson for Street Squad. Who knew all that work to put that together? In Utahville. Yeah. All right, folks.